If a nigga ever tell you me to run the back, we all know that's a trap. Hey. Money low, drug dealer coming off you a stack. We all know that's a trap. Word. You ain't put in no work, but she throw a pussy back. We all know that's a trap. Uh-huh. Hey. If it fell off, nigga, peel off, that's a fact. We all know that's a trap. Yeah. If a nigga ever tell you me to run the back, we all know that's a trap. Hey. Money low, drug dealer coming off you a stack. We all know that's a trap. Word. So, that's how you feel. What are you talking about? Who are you talking about? People, hey, how you doing? What's going on? How you, how you living? Stop, f- no, stop being rude. Talk to the people. Always introduce yourself before you start talking shit Nigga, to me. Nigga, we are the co-host. Of course we're doing our own fucking no, no, no. thing. I'm the host. You're, you're the secretary. Co-host. No, secretary? Yes. I'm a sexy ass secretary, so I got to I say. mean, you know, I will not, you know. Yes, yeah. boo-boo. Yes. Uncomfortable. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. Anyways, uh, hello, anyway. people. Come in. Come in, please. Please. I, don't, I apologize. We got mics now. You see this shit? We She's fancy, awesome. moving on up. My nigga, look, it's someone that's told us me. I'm so happy. Anyways, so we're having a fucking debate, and we need you to help us out. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, we have a lot of influence that we need to uh, you know, address into our childhood wow. lives, okay? Great and segue. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. That's going to be actually our word of the day, which is influence. And the definition is? Influence. I don't need this. Thank you very much. The influence is the capacity of a person or a thing to be a compelling force, to produce effects on things or actions of other people. Thank you, Webster's. Fuck you, Webster's. Anyways, so uh, today's uh, topic is going to be about our uh, our favorite childhood cartoons. You know what I'm saying? Cartoons, nigga. Cartoons, toons, nigga. We talked about specifically two networks. We talked about Cartoon Network and the and classic Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon. Fuck Nickelodeon. Should have never been related to me whatsoever. That's all I got to say. Get out. It's my Get set. Out. Get out. I own this. Anyways, guys. Like you said, we're talking about Cartoon Network, Nickelodeon. We're going to break them down into rounds. We're going to come up with a winner. Along the way, we're going to talk shit to each other. And as you know, as always, on the Who Mans Is This Podcast, I'm going to win the debate. Yeah. Shall we continue? We should continue. So, uh, you know, we're going to go straight into the first thing, which is going to be round one, plain oh, and boy. simple. <laughs> and so we got Cat and Dog versus uh, number nine. The Wild Thornberries. The Wild Thornberries. Okay. Yes. Did you watch any of these shows? Yes. Yes, I did. Okay. Yes, Dad. Okay, yes, well, I did. talk about it. Let's hear. Thornberries wise, I gotta say, I, 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 it was more relatable to me. Uh, it was cool. You know what I'm saying? I'm, colored characters, maybe feel included. You, you said what about the characters? Color characters. Color characters. Yes, the colors. What do you mean? They, they actually in different, you know, hairstyles, and they actually, uh, what's it called, included, uh, you know, different mixes of people and stuff like that. You colored know characters. That's what I meant to say. Yes. And then those cat dog. Let's talk about Cat Dog. Let's talk about Cat Dog, please. For the love of God, let's talk about Cat Dog. I just want to know, how did they shit? That's my question. No, no, no. You I like said, the shit. I hated the shit. I can't stand no, I Cat I like the dog. show, but I'm just curious to know how they shit. And that's my thing. Yo, first of all, it's Cat and Dog. First of all, for the longest time, you know, and me as a kid, I thought mm-hmm. they were like in the same species kind of situation. Mm-hmm. But then you got them backwards. So when they're both eating, one is lasagna and the other one is like, eating Chinese food. Who the fuck is eating first? And whose st- stomach is really doing all the motherfucking work? Let's think about that shit first of all. And then on top of that- I thing, don't know. You don't know? What about mm-hmm. also like the, the big ass cow and like the, all these these weird little secondary characters here? It was just fucking- It's no. I used to sit down and eat my pop cereal watching that shit eagerly like, nigga, this shit real, nigga, this shit What do good. you like about the show? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> that's, that's That show made me think of the topic, kids on drugs. I must have been on drugs to like that show, but I loved it. And I sat there like, my- Cartoon Network, please. Is anybody Nickelodeon. hearing the lack of influence? There's a lack of influence in so, this answer. We gotta pick a winner. Okay. Thornberries, what, what? Thornberries, look, man. Thornberries was related. Thornberries was a good show. It was a good show. It definitely. It had a lot of morals and principles that, you know, obviously when it went in They trip, had the girl that could talk to animals. First of all, she had fucked up teeth. She had braces on her teeth. I was trying to avoid that, up. but okay. And she had braces for how many seasons? Her teeth never got fixed. <laughs> Like, I don't know, man. Like, her dentist, what do they call those? Her orthodontist. That nigga did lose his job. Change that shit up quick. You know what I'm saying? And then the older sister acting like she had all the problems in the world. Always had one eye covered. To this day, I think the bitch got one eye. Always wore a hairstyle with the eye like this. That's facts. I'm like, yo, what's going on? What's the point of that? And I understand it. So I say, I I would say cleanly, as I to say that the Thornberries is winning this one, right? Let's go with the Thornberries. Let's go with the Thornberries. 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 All right, cool. But, so then, all right, continuing the Nickelodeon. Yes. Well, we got Rockles and then Jimmy Neutron. Well, the full Rockles time. what? Rock, you, you tell me. Rockles Modern Life, people. You can see it's how a great much show. of a fan I was this for this car. It's a great show. Yeah. Another show that I can't tell you why I liked it. I used to watch that I show. I couldn't before. fucking stand this shit. But you like Jimmy Neutron? Yes, I did. Elaborate. Jimmy Neutron, big ass head. Honestly, it was it was more of the it's cool being smart kind of thing. 
And obviously, you can relate to how you wish you can go to space. You know, Jimmy Nushan would have got fucked up in my school. He definitely would have been fucked up in my school too. But he also would have been, you know, the smart kid in the block that knew how to, you know, how should I say, cheat in baseball games and knew how to make fancy, you know, uh, vehicles. To you remember what show. happened anytime this nigga had a great idea? The camera <laughs> would go inside his brain. And you see his brain pulsating, and she'd be like, "Well, this nigga got a thought. This nigga's about to change the world. He about to invent something. That's fast." <laughs> All right, so let's see. Jimmy Nushan's Rock was Modern Life. That's I can't easy. say why I like Rocco's Modern Life, so we're gonna go with Jimmy. Go with Jimmy Neutron. And Rocco's Life is just another with shitty ass cartoons and 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 half ass made uh, mm-hmm. animals to make ass cart. No, just get out of here. Stop it's great for shit. kids. Kids don't care. Kids don't, don't give a fuck. Yeah, I used whatever. to watch Bananas in Pajamas. A lot of niggas don't even know what the show that is. Right? I know what show this is, and I'm not gonna get into it. We're not doing this right now. I apologize. Forgive me. It's pending. Anyways, uh, let's see. Finally, a fair. Oh, sorry. Fairly got. Not enough. Anyways, uh, fairy godparents and hey Arnold. Oh, okay, we're gonna stop you right there. It's fairly odd parents. Not, it's not fairy. Not fairy godparents. It's not fairy godparents. It's fairly, not, fairly odd. Cause yes. you're odd ass nigga. I am. Parents, fairly odd parents, nigga. Can you say it with me on three? One, two, three. Go fuck fairly yourself. Fairly odd parents. There you go. Thank you very much. Versus who? Huh? Versus uh, hey Arnold. Mmm, debatable. Debatable. I'm gonna be straight up with this. I couldn't fucking stand Hey Arnold. Why is your head of football? Do you know what I did to you in the first episode? Why is your head of football? Why is your head of football? Answer the question. And I'll wait. Because the nigga likes to run it back. That was weak. That was dry. Can we clip that? That was horrible. Yeah, edit that. that was disgusting. Yeah. But elaborate though. Fairly odd parents. What you like about? It? Finally, uh, it, it, there wasn't there wasn't a lot I liked about it, but I liked it enough to actually stay and actually watch the show itself. The father himself, the the fairly odd parent, the male one was the, the funniest out of all of them to me. That's all I think it was, honestly. Why? Because he was just. I liked how sometimes he would <laughs> he would give his his uh who was, who was the main character the kid. What's his name? I got his name. T- Timmy, Timmy, Timmy. Timmy. Timmy Turner. Timmy would ask, Timmy Turner. Yeah. Timmy would ask for a fucking, like, a dinosaur. Then the father would come out of the dinosaur's mouth and be like, do you like this? He'd be like, no. And also, the <laughs> dinosaur, dinosaur would, would eat him. Mouth. And eat him. <laughs> He's like, oh, okay. And just you push know, him back. You know what I liked about uh, Fairly Odd Parents? The Grims and Chin. Any, uh, anytime they incorporated the Grims and Chin into the episode, the Grims and Chin. You don't remember the Grims and Chin? No. I'm not bugging, right? Uber. The Grims and Chin was in Fairly Odd Parents, right? Right? It yeah, was. I'm not bugging, nigga. I'm not bugging. Fuck you. Okay. Right, Anyways. Mm-hmm. All right, so Fairly Our Pants, Hey Arnold. Look, man, Hey Arnold, let me tell you why I pick Hey Arnold. Hey Arnold was a show that taught messages. It was a cool show. When you were a kid, you were in school, you know, you see the clicks. They did every, talk about everything as far as bullying, fucking trying to fit in in school, making sports teams. It had a message in the show. That's why I fuck with Hey Arnold. And, and hold on, not to mention the theme song. Just cut this. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Come on, man. I'm good. I'm all right. Okay. I'm fine. And not to mention, his crush hated him. What was her name again? I forgot her fucking name. Was it? Was it like Elga? Elga. Who the fuck? Nah, I ain't gonna lie. Crazy. How much did you hate your child? What are we picking? Huh? Uba. Come here. I'm right here, bro. <laughs> guys, guys, we are uh, we we have our director producer, uh, Uber. What's going on, people? Tiebreaker. He's, he's gonna be the deciding factor in this. Hey, Arnold, fairly our parents. Who you picking, right now? So, as someone who's dealt with head issues growing up, you can see. Um, I no, 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 no. You better make them see. <laughs> <laughs> you, can, you can leave now. You better, oh you better leave. shit! Yeah, I know. So, hey, Arnold, all the way. Sponsored oh, by man. Gillette. Yeah. It's kind of like a personal Yo, y'all ever seen the, the peanut movie but with the Proud family? See, I'm out of here. <laughs> when, when on the peanut house. <laughs> That's why I didn't want to be Sponsored by Rogaine. Oh, shit. We want to get a million views because of your head, nigga. <laughs> right, I can see my future in his head, my nigga. That's crazy. <laughs> So after that very heated debate, obviously, you know what I'm saying? We've got so many different opinions on the set. I'm right like as that. usual, people. 
Right as usual. Yeah, he can go fuck himself. Anyways, uh, we can go to uh, finally our last uh, <laughs> versus. It's going to be SpongeBob versus Rocket Power. Now, I wasn't too familiar Ooh. with Rocket Power. I know I know Rocket Power. I've seen a couple of episodes here and there. But I got to say, the yeah. more iconic. How are you not familiar with Rocket Power? Not too much. Come on, man. I was more on the other side. I was Channel 32, if anything else, okay? So, it, yeah, the other people know who I'm talking about. Channel 32, forecast. Yeah, you can do the same. Click. Hot. You can edit all that shit out. People, SpongeBob is not iconic. Yes, thank you. No, no, no. SpongeBob is iconic. Okay, who we going up against again? <laughs> <laughs> Rocket Power, you dickhead. Huh? Look, Rocket Power was a great show, guys. When you were a kid, you always wanted to have a team of niggas that you hung out with and you could play different sports with. Rocket Power, they were skateboarding, they were surfing, they was rollerblading, they played hockey, they played ice hockey. These niggas went and got hot dogs together, man. They had snacks together and played sports together. You want to have that shit That's like a people team. don't do. How That's you a team. You to be, what do you mean you can't relate to it? You can't relate to it? Man, do you do hockey? Play do you play hockey? How about skateboarding? hockey before. I've tried to skateboard, how, how often but I'm black. You board a bike? Exactly, I'm you're black. How, how, how was the black Hispanic community going to relate It wasn't to about the sports itself. It was about the team chemistry, nigga. Don't we got a strong team? You damn Don't right. we have strong chemistry? You damn right. Back then, though, I make my point. No, you do not. So I pick Rocket Power. Now, don't get me wrong. SpongeBob, you know, he lived in a pineapple under the sea. I love pineapples. Point one right there. Love him. Had a best friend who was a starfish. Confusing. Minus that point away. Back to zero. But, my nigga, who was the nigga that was playing the clarinet all the time? Mm. Squidward? Squidward. Squid. That nigga was on musicals, huh? Word. What's up, baby? I, I gotta say, one of the most iconic episodes for me of all time, and again, this is not me too much of a, of a SpongeBob fan, but it's definitely as iconic, and I will pick him all day long. It's the episode when he's trying to blow the fancy bubbles with Squidward and trying to teach him, and he's teaching him all the poses. <laughs> and my favorite. And he, <laughs> and he goes into the pose and he goes, then you bring it around town. You bring, bring it, it around, around town. town. <laughs> and I thought that I used was. To, I used to like um, when SpongeBob would talk to Gary. And SpongeBob would be pouring his life out to Gary and be like, I think I had a rough ass day today. You know? <laughs> and Gary would be like this. Meow. Meow. Nigga, man, we ain't got no milk. I'm trying to eat some cereal. Got some dry ass croissants, no butter. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, when this nigga was making Krabby Patties, remember the episode? Where Plankton tried to steal the recipe for the Krabby oh, Patties. Oh shit, that's right. That was Ooh, good. another episode with him and Sandy was doing the karate shit. <laughs> oh shit, nigga. Ah, uh, but now you still lose. Rock about. Oh uh, no, I definitely hate SpongeBob if anything else. Definitely SpongeBob uh, is more iconic. Uber calling out to you. Rocket Power, SpongeBob. Would you take it? SpongeBob. Thank you very much. It's another one in the books, baby. You guys, I just want to formally announce my retirement from this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So we got the winner from the Nickelodeon round one. We got Thornberry. We got Jimmy Neutron. Mm -hmm. We got Hey Arnold. And I regret to inform we do have SpongeBob. We do have SpongeBob. There okay. you go. Strong five right there. Cartoon Network? Cartoon Network is up Let's next. And we got the first uh, matchup was going to be Courage the Cowley Doll versus Ed, Ed, and Eddie. And we easy. already know that is. That's an easy one. But we got comments from the Peanut Gallery before we even got on camera about who should win. Yeah, y'all can't see her, but I'm looking at her right now off camera, mm -hmm. talking about Ed, Ed, and Eddie should win. Mm -hmm. No, damn it. Courage, yeah. the cowardly dog, wins. Courage, down. all day long. Season no. sweet. Damn right. Don't get me Playoff wrong. sweet. Series what? sweet. 4-0. Ed, Ed, Ed and Eddie, well, that was pretty funny too. It just, everything was just too disgusting for me, especially with the lifesavers they love so much, and it's like bigger Ooh, than their They be having lifesavers. They, they jaw be out here, and they just drooling all over the place. Drooling all, all day. day. Like, life isn't even a bad that much of a thing. was cool, but it was like disorganized organization. You feel me? Yes. It was a funny show. We're going to go on to Pinky and the Brain versus, versus Batman Beyond. Beyond. Batman mm. Beyond. He's not saying a chance. Debatable. Batman, no. Batman Beyond's is easy, easy got me. No. Absolutely. Pinky and the Brain. The, the, look at the premise of the show. Pinky and the Brain. At the end of every episode. What We're did they say? We're talking about mice. Pinky would look at Brain and be like, We're talking about Brain, mice. what are we going to do tomorrow, Brain? Tomorrow, Pinky. We're going to try and take over the world. <laughs> Dang, you talking to all the real niggas out there when he said that. I'll be trying to take over the world every day. I'll put on my boxes. I'll be trying to take over the world. I'll be like, look at these hands. These niggas ain't ready for these goddamn hands. I eat my breakfast. I try to take over the world, goddamn it. But on the series, no, I got to say, definitely with Batman Beyond, it was a lot more serious. It's a lot more, especially with the ongoing DC Marvels and the comics trying to just continue the legacy of, of, of Batman going, at, going away from Bruce Willis. Uh, not Bruce Willis, sorry. 
What's his yeah, name? You fucking up. Yes. What's his name again? Just, just continue your point. We don't even need to know his name at this point. From the old, from the original Batman onto the newer Batman coming up, and uh, it had its own um, storyline to frustrations, emotional, you know, laps and stuff of that nature, which I thought was very deep too. All that is cute, but Pinky in the Brain made me have more of appreciation for rodents. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, Pinky in the Brain, Batman, Uber, please. I'm going with Pinky in the Brain. Wow, really? They're white mice. They're not even black mice. The fuck is wrong with you? That's really? right. They're not black mice. That's a good point. But guess what? It wins. Pinky and the brain, ladies Weak and gentlemen. Ass fucking argument. Pinky and the motherfucking brain. Now, What's number next? four is going to be a really good one. It's uh, to all my girls out there. Pop-up girls. Who's your favorite pop-up girl? Uh, Buttercup. I like Bubbles. Buttercup is a close second, though. It is Blossom a close is second. A, like, Blossom is like Beyonce. Well, who are we going against? Bubbles is like. Let me know who we're going against. They're going against who? <laughs> you talking about Mr. Bravo, nigga? <laughs> hey, 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 hey. How you doing, Pretty Lady? Hey, how you doing, Pretty Lady? Who are you? What's going on, Pretty Lady? Can I help you with those groceries? <laughs> <laughs> you looking really good, Pretty Lady. <laughs> the premises of the, of the show itself was enjoyable, but it wasn't deep at all. No. So it was, it was mostly Very about vain. his hair. His his body, he's trying to pick up a girl. Yeah, always pick up a girl. And he always had that uh, little Girl Scout that came. I, know, I ain't never seen out. a nigga put no gel, no grease. It's just a, all the way up every episode. Huh? Yeah, he, he embarrassed some. I remember the episode him. he fell asleep working out one arm, and then one arm got too big. <laughs> <laughs> so when he woke up, his arm was like this. You know that episode? <laughs> no, I don't actually. The nigga fell asleep like this. <laughs> <laughs> woke up one side like this. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, Powerpuff Girls, I think, is better. Oh, what's that thing you said about Powerpuff Girls about the mistake? That shit was funny. Wait, the, the, the mistake? The mistake. Ah, uh, the mistake. The I don't, mistake. I don't remember. Okay. So, boom. He told me something funny yesterday. So, there was an episode in Powerpuff Girls where... Oh, yes. The girls are, the, the girls bring a friend home, right? So, their dad is around. They all have a conversation. The professor. The professor. The one that created the Powerpuff Girls. So, they're like, yeah, you know, our dad created us by mistake. So, then the girl looks at them and goes, oh, wow, for real? That was a mistake, too. And they, mark, they go right back to the professor. And the Yo, professor maybe I'm immature, but yeah, that shit was funny, though. Catches them off guard. So you can see the innuendos that mm-hmm. was in there, too. It's not innuendos. It's innuendos. Innuendos? Innuendos. And watch this. You can go fuck yourself okay. again. Thank you very much. <laughs> this nigga's SAT word, category list, knowledge. Crank that. You! Okay. So between those two, easy winner. Easy Pop-up winner. girls. Pop-up girls. High five. Oh, I'm sorry. That is snap. I forgive you. Uh, okay, Papa Girls wins. Next up is uh. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do we need to fight? Huh? Do we need to fight? I can go charge up for half an hour and three episodes if you want to. Do we need to fight? I don't give a I'll fuck. Take, I'll take my ring off. I don't give a fuck. I'll go Super Saiyan right here, right now. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the final episode in uh round one of Cartoon Network. We have Tom and Jerry, and I regret to inform. Versus, the great. A wonderful and iconic Dragon Ball Z, baby. Yes, what we do. I, look, I said Tom and Jerry nice. Why do you got to put extra salad on top of the damn Because meal? it deserves it, if anything else. Absolutely. No. One of the best cartoons A bunch of, of niggas at every episode. Ah! Three episodes later. <laughs> 40 minutes of niggas screaming. You know what the episode is? A bunch of niggas who ain't getting on in five months. It's a bunch, a bunch of backed up niggas. Ah! You know, pussy nigga. Ah! Great storyline. Great characters. Great supporting cast. Uh, was the called great scenes and the one thing that the show always aced was the anticipation. Was flying and anticipation screaming, was key to this definite show. It always has been. Now going against Tom and Jerry, I think they're two different complete animals. I'm sorry, but Tom and Jerry, I think it's a classic to a point that it could be influenced to from Legend. infants to legends all day long. You can put on an episode of Tom and Jerry right now for anybody that was born in the '80s and they were sitting from that thing like, Yes, because Tom and Jerry had a message behind it too. Yes. Absolutely. And it was family fun all around. Dragon Ball Z is more serious, obviously, but it has grown. I remember the episode of decades. Let's cut you. I remember the episode of Tom and Jerry when um, Tom was trying to get into heaven. And tell me about this. I don't remember, I remember this one. So you remember the episode? Uber? So he died, but he lived his life chasing Jerry. So God wouldn't let him into heaven. So he sends him back down, and the whole episode, he's like kissing his ass. <laughs> and then he gets he gets on the elevator trying to get back to heaven again, and he's by the gates, and he's like, look what I've done, basically. You know, he didn't talk, but he's like, basically, look what I've done. Look at all this stuff that I did. Like, I'm treating Jerry nicer now. And he was like, not trying to eat him. Uh-huh. And Jerry was like, you know, a nigga chasing you your whole life, and he'd be like, nigga, what? 
what is in this pudding, nigga? <laughs> I am not going to eat this tapioca. I do not like these rations. <laughs> tapioca pudding. I don't even like tapioca. <laughs> I like jello. But um, yeah, messages. To, to me, Tom and Jerry wins. I don't know. Dragon Ball Z. Messages? Like, messages, really. Messages. Yeah, like text messages? Messages. No, 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 no. Just about principles and morals and shit like that. It goes on to that DBZ side. And Uba, we're going to need your help on this one, too. Because this one's going to be deep. Go ahead. <sighs> don't do it. Don't do it to yourself. You're from New York? I, I wouldn't be able to make it back home if I didn't take Dragon Ball Z. Thank you very fucking much. You I make some great points, though, about... Wait a minute. You make some great points. Your lady about... likes Dragon Ball Z? No. Just like all my friends. And that was like 90% of my childhood, too. That's facts. Thank you very much. You're by yourself. You didn't but want you to see me. Consider, you made me consider going against Yeah, because I, I speak valiant points, my lady. <laughs> yeah, sure. Lacking points of anything else. Right now, round two. Numero dos, baby. Yes, we are. Back to, ne- to uh, Nickelodeon side. We're going now talking about Doug. And the winner... Wait, versus... wait, let's give the audience a little information. Okay. In round two, we have a few episodes. The first, the first place episodes... Um, first place show, sorry. They got buys into the next round. Mm. That's why they weren't included in the initial uh, brackets, right? Yes. So they already bought in. So this show, Doug, Nickelodeon, as you were saying, can you yes. Doug is now going against the Thornberries. Now we got to see who's going to win in that, in that, in that, in that uh, mm. debate. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to just go with... Uh, I'm going to go with Doug. I'm going to go with Doug, too. Yeah, that's going to go with Doug. Easy. Only thing about Doug that I ain't like is that, you know what I'm saying, everybody, like Doug was white, but everybody else that was blue, orange, and green, you could tell they was black people. You know what I'm saying? I ain't appreciate that. Well, we got to be all different colors. Like a smoothie scale bag. Why got to be some blue guy? Why couldn't you be black? That's facts. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, now for Doug, I, I got to say I was more familiar with it. It definitely had more of a, uh, a really relatable situation mm-hmm. to like everyday life kind of thing, especially going to school, stuff Facts. like that. But, but we uh, all went to school. But it did, it did reinforce to what's going on today as in treating people different just because of the color of the skin. Mm-hmm. If you're orange, yellow, blue, whatever the case may be. That is true. But we all knew. We all knew what He has some orange friends. You got some There's orange, some orange and blue friends. I'm just saying, that Doug wasn't no racist. Well, it's peach. This, it's peach. The disrespect. Anyways, Doug versus Thornberries. Um, really not an argument. No argument there. Absolutely. Doug beats Thornberries. Oh, we're having okay. an argument for the next one. Now we're going for the next into the next round, round two. Now we're going against the Rugrat versus Jimmy Neutron. Ooh, I'm going rats. I'm going I'm, to Ruggo rats. I'm going Jimmy. First of all, no. Guys, Rugrats, they went on adventures. There's niggas in diapers going on adventures. There's niggas in diapers. The niggas in diapers were in diapers for 15 years. Yo, for all my people that watch Rugrats, right? You remember like the week before they was coming out with Rugrats all grown up? You remember how excited you got? They was like, and next week, the premiere. Rugrats all grown up. And then you seen Chucky with braces, nigga. You seen Tommy all grown up with a little bit of hair on his head. He was like, oh, these niggas got shit. Oh, my God. Nigga was rocking some Evizu jeans. I'm like, wait a minute, nigga, trying to get fly, trying to get droopy on him. He got trying to get droopy on him. Then you see Phil Lil with a chain on him, like, drip gay. <laughs> Talk about it. Man, I used to get hype. I never got hyped like that over, uh, what's the show we're converting to? I forgot. Uh, Jimmy Neutron? Jimmy Neutron. Come on, man. That's Rugrats. True. That, that, that's true. You got a point there, but at the same time, again, these niggas, why did it take them so long to get into middle school? It's been 15 years. I don't understand that. Episodes. No, no, thank you. TV shows don't go by our real life. All right, anything else, they could have caught up a little and why bit. why they never made a Jimmy Neutron all grown up? Why the fuck this nigga stayed in elementary why? school? Why? Well, if you compare that, they both got into movies, right? Both of them got into movies. They both was impressionable, too. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like they... they one was actually Jimmy that Neutron, relevant to the other. He's supposed to be smart. He got a big but ass head. Like, he's supposed but, to be but I will tell you the influence. Factor definitely goes some more on the what's it called the Rugrats than yes. Jimmy Neutron. They taught that's principles. Why I agree. But again, they taught principles I, and took you on adventures. Nigga. That's true. But Jimmy Neutron for me, I think it was more of a basis of just like I liked it more better than than the Rugrats. Rugrats was always just an irritated me. Angelica, I always want to smack the shit out of her. I really did. All right, we need a background voice. Karina, you choose. Hey, say it again. Say it louder, Karina. Rugrats, Rugrats in the building. Donald Trump, if you're hearing me right now, this needs to be a deportation of this person that's in my fucking sight right now. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. Rugrats. Ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, is that was Nickelodeon, good? right? Yes, it was. Now we're going Cartoon back to the Network. Network. Yes. Round two. Let's talk about it. So we have now Scooby's in the mix from Scooby. Cartoon Network. Scooby. Again, and who was the winner? The winner of round two was Courage Cowley Dog. No, Courage. Well, what? 
Curse the Cowley Dog versus Scooby Doo. That's what it is. Right now. The, yes. The, uh, debatable. Debatable. Now I'm gonna tell you why. Or would you like to go first? No, no, go ahead. You, you have a good point when it comes when it comes to uh the mystery machine. It's mystery van. Scooby this guy, mystery machine. There's no machine. It's a van. Anyway. The machine was a van. It's a van. It was called mystery van. Oh, but you're older than me. I know you know. <laughs> He's looking, guys. Give him a moment. Do, 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 This week on Jeopardy. Do, 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 do. Mystery machine? What is On the side of the Oh, fuck yourself. Three points to Gryffindor, bitches. Five points to Hufflepuff? Damn right. 15 points to Ravenclaw. And 10 points to Slytherin. Gryffindor. Anyways. All right. I'm going Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo. They solve mysteries in their mystery machine. Um, you know what I'm saying? I had a little crush on, on uh, what's her name? Not, was it Daphne? No, it wasn't Daphne. It wasn't Daphne. It wasn't uh, Daphne or was it, it was, um, something. the one with the girl glasses. No, not the one. I didn't have the one. No, you know what's funny? The one in the movie? The Daphne in the movie was bad. Delicious. Like, I was like, ooh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Like smart girls, you know? <laughs> but um, no. Scooby-Doo went on mysteries. You know they were smoking weed in the back of that van, right? That's facts. I gotta be honest with you. Those are in the windows. Anytime the too. van was driving, you saw all that smoke that was in the air? Yes. Like, why they always had the munchies? Talking about pancakes this high and shit. Damn. Them one bite. Absolutely. That eyes always red as shit. Like, you like, mm. I ain't gonna lie. I wanted to contact Cartoon Network. Like, yo, where y'all get your stuff from? You feel me? The Scooby is out here, son. <laughs> but Courage, I think, is just a lot more funny, honestly. I think it, it was more mystery when it came to that. Yes, there were silly moments. I feel like Courage mm. was absolutely just straight on more comedy than anything else. Like, it was supposed to be mm. that stupidity kind of shit. That's just me. It's a close one. It's a, it's a debatable. Um, I'm sticking to my guns. I'm going with the do of the Scoob. Scooby Dooby Doo. Where are you? Theme song lit. You don't even Scott remember. Song. You remember the theme song for Curse of Hell? We. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, Talk I actually it. don't. Yeah, I actually. I'm going Scooby Doo. Background noise. Scooby. Scooby. We got a Scooby. Background noise. Scooby. Damn. Unanimous. Whatever. Moving on. Moving on. Next one is going to be, oh, we got Dexter's Laboratory versus who? Pinky and the Brain. Dang, did we go over the Pinky and the Green? Yeah, we did. That not was Green. Funny. Not Pinky and the Green. It's not a bag of rice. Brain. It's Pinky I and the Brain. brain. You said up. Grain. STFU. Uh, I appreciate no. you. Thank you very much. So, Dexter's Laboratory, Pinky and the Brain. Pinky and the Brain. Ooh, that's I, a tough one. I think it's easy. It's I'm too going easy. Dex. I'm, I'm going Dex. I'm going Dex on this one. Dexter. I'm going Dex. I can't um, find it. He has some iconic moments. Uh, I I like the part when uh, he learns French, that one word that kept lapping over into the record. And so he learns it, and all of a sudden he's like the most popular kid in school. I don't remember. And he can't get back into his lab, and so he checks in three times with the same word, that French word, and all of a sudden his whole laboratory explodes. <laughs> oh, shit. I remember that. <laughs> that was a classic one, too. I just, I, I, I love I loved that episode. I mean, not that episode. I love the show, period. Dee Dee killed me. I love Dee Dee. Dee Dee was funny. Dee Dee. That was her name. As a sister, right? As a sister. Yes. I was racking my brain on her name. <laughs> this whole time I was like spacing out while you were talking. I'm like, they're probably in the audience like, what the fuck is this nigga looking like? Mm-hmm. But uh, I was like, Dee Dee. Dee Dee. Got it. Got it. And then his his rival was the, the, the tall, thin, smart kid too, also at school. Yeah, fuck they, that nigga. They both, they both had laboratories and yeah, shit. Yeah, like, like more, impre- more impressive. More impressive. There's a scrap there. That was classic. Thank you. <laughs> and now. Oh, we're did, we going pick, to... did we pick a winner? Oh, we're picking a winner. Next one. Next one. Okay. Absolutely. Cool. Hey man, what's wrong with you? Hold on. Sorry. I'm good. Don't touch me. I apologize for, for being yeah, late. I, I don't forgive you. Ladies and gentlemen, um, I got a hairy ass. There was a lot of condensation around here. So um, what happened was we were laughing so hard. I had an ab workout and then there was a lot of drenching sweat. So we just had to, you know, switch the whole atmosphere. I just felt like changing my clothes and location. Uh, fuck whatever he said. Okay? Let's get on with it. Man, shh, you know what's next, man. We got Scooby-Doo, Powerpuff Girls. Legendary card. Oh, okay, God damn. Who are you picking, man? Ah, damn it. Rappy? I just don't Raggy? know. Raggy? Raggy? Low key, you know, the wild. They were like weed heads. 
Like they I were. didn't know it was about to now. What was it called? I called it the mystery van. What was it called? It was the mystery. The mystery machine. Right? Machine. Mystery yeah, machine. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Right. So, okay. Well, who you picking, man? Don't waste. Don't take over. I don't know. I think. I think for me, the more iconic cartoon to me, to me personally, it has to be Powerpuff Girls. Yes. Powerpuff Girls. Yes. Powerpuff Girls. Yes. Ooh, pervert. I am a little bit. I know. My size a little bit. I know. Uh -huh. you're, you're the same size. All right. We are Chemical the same size. X. <laughs> Chemical X. All right, all right, Sweet, very right. nice. So you're picking pop up girls? Yes. I'm, I'm going to school. Why? Because I love mysteries. There was nothing mysterious. And actually, there was Loki some shit. So like, I couldn't tell what it was. They were solving all the crimes out there. That's true. Scooby-Doo. Sherlock Holmes ain't got nothing on Scooby-Doo. That's disrespectful. Oh, it's not. Yes, it is. It's too much Whatever. So I I'll go I'll go pop up girls. Mojo, Jojo. There was, some there was some characters in there that was very, very, what's the word for it? Confusing and mm. questionable sometimes. Like, let's talk about him. Was he or was he not a transsexual? Who? The guy in the red with the claws. Oh, he was interesting. He was very interesting. That was the cartoon version of Prince. Yes, exactly. An evil Prince, if you want to think about that. Yeah. Yes, exactly. That. So I'll, I'll go, I'll go Powerpuff Girls. We're going Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo wins. Uh, Winner? Dexter's Laboratory versus Dragon Ball Z. Mm. Anime fans, you already know what's going on right now. You already know where I'm at. Come on now. Oh, Jesus Christ. I already know. He likes Dragon Ball Z, a bunch of guys yelling, screaming, throwing light out of their hands. It makes no sense. The one, oh, excuse me. The first thing Listen. you respect is anticip anticipation. That's the one thing. First, you couldn't even say that without stuttering, so well, I can't respect it. Well, I can't spell big mm -hmm. words. I know you can. All right. It's How many syllables does anticipation have? I don't know. One, two. No? You don't know? No, I don't want okay. to. Cool. I'm going next to the laboratory. Would you like to know what? He invented shit. Inventions, people. He had a big ass lab. He was making shit up. Mixing potions together, he made weapon. Continue what you were saying. You see the shit I gotta do it on a daily basis. Do not touch me and saying. do not caress me. I'm I don't saying. like that. I like women. Please. I'm just saying. You need cancer showing. They are. I put, like, I put like, shea butter on. I'm just saying your outfit is very questionable right now. Wow, your lifestyle is questionable. That's very true. But um, Dexter versus DBZ. Uber, please help. He's in denial. Dexter. Hmm. Doug and Hey Arnold. Doug and Hey Arnold. Well, we already you know, know you hate Hey Arnold. Absolutely. But you know what? As much as I love Hey Arnold, I'm actually gonna go Doug as well. I'm gonna, gonna go, go Doug. Doug as well. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go Doug. Why did you change your heart? Because of the storyline. It was always a message. And you know? so, but supposedly to you, there was a message in Hey Arnold. Oh, absolutely. Also. Okay, so so you have no point there. And I now, love the and I love the theme song. Now we, you we, to we, we already established that I love. The Yes, we already said, okay. don't, don't touch me again. I actually choose Halo. I swear, I take my So the winner is, drum roll please, and it is Doug. Whatever. Wow. What's I, next? Uh, we have the Rugrats against SpongeBob. Mm, Rugrats all day. You go it's first not even a, It's not a competition. Rugrats, Phil and Lil, Tommy Pickles, Chucky, Angelica. Need I say more? And let's not talk about the anticipation, the word you can't even spell, of Rugrats all grown up. You guys remember the week before Rugrats all grown up? You know, you're a Niggas burnt like, yo, cunt stain. Yo, they about to be teenagers? Y'all couldn't even sleep. I was like, yo, they about to do a week premiere of this shit, yo? I could not sleep. It was wonderful. They took, for, they took forever with the fucking movies, too, at the same time. So, so what? Mean. It was classics. It was stupid. It was just Nickelodeon stupid. Nickelodeon makes stupid. classics. Man, it was just stupid. I, I never on, really enjoyed it. SpongeBob was more iconic with its randomness. It definitely was a family SpongeBob show, too, at the same time. was more iconic. And there's more... A sponge Innuendos. that lived in a pineapple under the sea. That's how you correct this out? Innuendos in, in uh, Spongebob? Innuendos. That's exactly. You almost said it right. Almost said it right. Okay. It comes with the height. I'm Fine. sorry, guys. I apologize. Um, I'm going Rugrats. I'm, um, I'm going Spongebob. I'm Spongebob. And surprisingly- okay. Rock, rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors, say shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, say shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, say shoot. Woo! <laughs> All right, Uber, he beat me, but- Beat that ass. What, what are we picking? Okay, bet. Here we are, round three. Very, Blue very exciting. You can count that high? Exactly, that's what I thought so. Don't say shit, just stay right there. Anyways, so round three, we're going to Doug versus Rugrats. I don't think this is actually a real much of a combination, like a real I competition. What's I don't think so either. So I'll say, we'll say our answer in three seconds, right? Three, two, one, Rugrats. Rugrats. Done. Thank you very much. One. Don't need to push that any further. Nope, not anymore. Rugrats more. wins. Now for the last one. In round three. In round three. We have Scooby-Doo. And Dexter. Versus Dexter's Laboratory. 
Um, I think it's 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 a, it's a good debate, but Scooby Doo wins, in my opinion. I because of the longevity and how long this show's been going compared yeah. to Dexter. I'll yeah. tell you that much. Well, Scooby Doo had like secondary shows like Scrappy Doo. And, yes, you know, and those old movies, realistic movies. Yeah, the Scooby Doo as kids. I forgot the name of that one. Mm-hmm. So yeah, Scooby Doo. Yeah. It's been broken up to to, to different. Uh, Scooby Doo ran so long, we got to see him be your uncle. So, That's facts. That's how it <laughs> Scrappy, <laughs> Scrappy. I got like, lie, Scrappy was gay. He was a thug though. He was. Scrappy was getting on Scrappy like, yo, that uncle, let's go get these niggas, son. Like, yo, he, he took your kibbles and bits, man. We gonna go get him, man. What you talking about? He took the pizza. Let's get the dough. Scooby be like, yo, nigga, yo, chill out. He grabbed by his little ears. Like, yo, yo, chill out. So, so, anyways, so Scooby's the winner on that one. Scooby. And now so, we go down to ooh. the final encounter, the no, last gonna be round. The, it's going to be the Battle of the Legends it's right here, ladies battle. and gentlemen. It's be a battle. battle of the Legends. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Dexter. No, sorry. Scooby versus the Rugrats. You been messing up the damn legends? Do it again. Oh, leave it to me. Three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the Rugrats versus Dexter's Laboratory. Did I fuck it up? No, I think you like it. <laughs> nah, that's a Dexter Laboratory. You season. fucked it up this time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. This nigga messed me up. So. All right, so Rugrats versus Scooby-Doo. Who you picking? Oh, man. I'm... Uh, Rugrats versus Scooby-Doo. Long, I want Scooby-Doo. Longevity, I'm t- is, longevity I'm, is great with both. No, no. But I'm, t- I'm, I'm team Cartoon Network. I got to go with Scooby-Doo. It definitely was a, t- it was, it was a show oh, that I saw a lot more. Debatable. Um, I, I don't know. Um, Intangible. And, and, and the word... The, the key word of today is influence. Ooh. I like the way you just brought that back around town. So I can just bring it around. Bring it around town. town. Okay, so which show had the greater influence on its audience? If I had to be honest, I had to go Rugrats. If I had to be honest. So nigga. <laughs> I want to say Scooby. Scooby Doo. No, but I, I favor Scooby Doo for me preferably. But when it comes to Back to the, to the word influential. I think the more influential pack was definitely Rugrats. Because it's been going on for over, over 30 years, I think. Am I, if I'm correct. Mm, I don't know. But um, you're making up numbers. I don't do that. Um, damn, this is a tough one, man. Shoot. They both done movies together. They both they both had made movies yeah. out, of, out of the shows, obviously. You know what I'm saying? Memorabilia from the kids' generation. I know a lot of kids Scooby putting them work with them. Crimes, though, though. Scooby was solving crimes. Dude. That's that's facts. Rugrats was over here just collecting carpet. I ain't gonna lie. Scooby was out here crim- doing criminal justice reform. I'm going Scooby Doo. I'm going Rugrats. That's how we go from there. So outside we'll- noise, please. Rugrats. Wow. And the winner is standing in the left corner, the new cartoon anime champion of the world. The The Rugrats. The Rugrats. Oh, shameful. Just absolutely shameful, as I got to say. Absolutely. And I went for them, too. But it's, it, it, either way, it, it was good. It was good, good show. Debate. Rugrats all grown up. Absolutely. Wow, Rugrats is what? Nickelodeon? Yes, it is. Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon, we on top. It had the biggest influence. It had touched a lot of lives. It definitely had grew up with us, too, at the same time. Um, it definitely was a lot of blessings to all of us that could relate to the, the problems going on there. Agreed. Stuff like that. So, um, and of course, I always had the, you know, the comedy banter and, uh, and schemes in the middle of things to actually line the mood up. And it was definitely a family show. So Facts. I think it connected with everybody. And they had a rug rest on growing up. Don't forget about that. You can't forget about that either. Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, once again, thank you for joining us. This is the Who's Man's of this podcast. We have a poll. We have a poll. Oh, and we have a poll. Yeah, That's you're right. You're, you're, you're in a poll. So we got some intel from our director saying that we got a poll of exactly what actually was like, was your favorite cartoon throughout the years. And what is it? Over 40 people voted. Okay. Um, Out of people over 40 or over 40 people? <laughs> <laughs> that would be in the circle. No. Um, over 40 people in total voted. Okay. okay. Hey Arnold won by far. Was even hey Arnold wow. won. Wow. Wow. Hands down. Yeah. Not even close. The nigga with the football head. Yeah. The nigga with the football head. You mad, ain't you? On the Cartoon so Network side, it was a tie. What was the title? Uh, Scooby and DBZ. Scooby and DBZ was actually a tiebreaker for get out of here, crazy. Man. Nah, get out of here. You're stupid. Don't even do that. No. Don't do that. Absolutely not. Look, man. Hashtag Vegeta needs his own show. You notice how Dragon Ball Z didn't even make it into the finalist, though? Psst, Dragon Ball Z. You know your seat is a rental, right? Like You don't have to be here. And what is yours? Why? And what is yours? An expensive high chair. 
Agreed. Okay. Anyways, uh, that's like that's, that's enough for this uh this episode. We want to let y'all know. Thank you so much for stopping by. We appreciate it. I know this was actually bringing us back into our childhood memories, which is great. I mean, all these shows were absolutely you. phenomenal. We thank them for helping us raise us and stuff like that. You know, they brought us a lot of joy, a lot of uh, what's it called, controversial Who's talks. Who's messages? All that kind of shit too. So, anyways, we love y'all. Be safe, and uh, thanks for tuning in. We we'll see you next time. Deuces. <laughs>